Hello people, this is a guide on how to get guns and ammo in Dead Island. One of the places in Act 1 that you could find a, a gun would be uh, northeast of the lifeguard station right here. It's in a little uh, bar area. On the ground. This is one of the places that you can find a um, gun in Act 1 from the lifeguard station. You head directly southwest to this location on the map. It's inside this uh, hut here. There's also uh, Anne's teddy bear or the quest, which is nearby. <coughs> Get out of here, buddy. Uh, anyway, it's inside this hut uh, next to this guy's body on the ground. One of the quests uh, that will allow you to get a gun in Act 1, the only quest actually, uh, is found right at this location. You need to uh, be um, at 8% in the main progress, uh, which means you need to have uh, saved the lifeguard station and gotten the new people to move in there uh, after clearing out the zombies. Again, it's located right here, uh, to the southwest of uh, the lifeguard station, overlooking a pool area. Um, inside, we'll get a Wait, guy back named up! Is that a bite mark? Okay, listen. He's gonna give you a I quest. I think I can help. Good. Uh, the first quest won't actually uh, do anything. You're gonna have to go and kill a thug. Uh, you go here, and then you're going to have to kill a thug in this, uh, little, um, uh, like, little restroom area, and then after that's done, uh, you're going to have to bring him, uh, escort him back to the lifeguard station, and once you've done that, he'll give you a gun for a reward. One of the places to get, uh, pistol ammunition in Act 1 is actually, uh, down at the church, or, no, sorry, not the church, at the hotel area. There's a police car right up here that has, uh, pistol ammo. Uh, it's fairly easy to get until you actually get the armored car and leave the hotel. At that point, they have an infinite spawn of three, three infected. So if you come after that point, then prepare for a fun fight see in just a sec. Uh, we're gonna have one, two, take care of them real quick. Get your ammo. And then get out of here. Because they're just going to keep on spawning. Gar. When you are in the quest, uh, let's see now, what is the name of this quest? Uh, only the strong survive. It's when you're getting your armored vehicle uh, um, with bars put around it. Uh, when you're here, you there is an free, ammo sorry. crate that spawns ammo. And if you exit and drop out of the game and then load your last checkpoint, you can have that ammunition respawn right there. And so uh, you could do that until your character is full of ammunition. So uh, see I have another gun. I'm going to do this. And then just uh, log to my last checkpoint. And then go ahead and get it. So this is uh, one place in Act 1 where you could get your character full of ammo. So uh, one of the places you could get guns is actually to the east of the warehouse. You have to go east and then follow this wall along and then uh, go along this hall up some stairs uh, to get here. There's a lot of zombies that will be up here that you have to kill uh, along with an infected. So this is a rather dangerous uh, place to get guns. However, once you're here, they're fairly easy to pick off because behind the wall here and usually taking cover and you can hit him part way through the wall so you have your own cover here I'm 
four guys and But there's no real great loot here other than the guns. That's just uh, uh in Act Two if you uh are have the quest available Godless Entities and haven't finished it, uh you can reg you can get a gun chest as well as be able to get access to kill some guys with pistols fairly uh close to the pump station. Uh, put it on the quest and quest warp here, then we're gonna head to the north so that you don't end up getting attacked by the zombies that are part of this quest. And I'm not sure if you can actually go in here. You, uh, yeah, you can't go in this area. So we'll have to go around the north. There's a couple zombies that we'll have to kill here. whatever zombies are after you over here. Yeah, hey, you don't even need to kill them. Just make sure they don't attack you while you're attacking the other guys. And then here you go. You have a uh, gun ammunition and any guns that you want to get from these guys and then the uh, gun chest here, which I just looted. Uh, and then when you are done doing this, if you just want to rinse and repeat, go ahead and quest warp and uh, quest warp back to the pump station and do it again. One place that has uh, respawning uh, uh, punks that have guns is in the far south uh, west of the map. It's to the south of the pump station. Uh, this place has a decent amount of people. I think there's five or six guys. The only problem is, is there's also uh, a respawn of... Um, Infected here too, so you gotta gotta be careful. See, they're coming around. There's three of them. Yeah, you gotta take care of your business and get out of here. Or they'll just be coming back. So anyway, uh, yeah, it's a fairly dangerous area, so um, I wouldn't recommend coming here to get guns unless you're desperate. Okay, folks, so here we are on the quest Lady in Trouble, and we are at 54% of the main prop progress, plot progress, uh, and we just exited the um, jail. I actually reset this area, so uh, we're going to go through here, this door towards the... Um, next checkpoint but not go there uh, and then in this room there are two I love surprises uh, gun cabinets that have guns of various sorts there's also a level one chest here I think it's level one uh, that oftentimes has a gun as well so that's three gun uh, things that you can get that have guns um, when you get to the point in the quest uh, supermarket journey, uh, that's uh, where you get to the entrance to the supermarket, and you are at 46% in the main progress, uh, plot progress. Uh, <laughs> Large shotgun here, or a shotgun. Right on the ground here. It only comes once, so you need to get it when it comes. Otherwise, you'll be screwed out of it. The uh, only supplier for ammunition that I know of in Act 2 is uh, located at this, like, this hidden shop. It's at the, to the south, uh, west of the warehouse, down this road, and, uh, oops, and you gotta get down here. Uh, I think I've seen him sell rifle ammunition. He's currently selling pistol ammunition, so I think it may be, uh, random depending on what he's currently selling. 
Soldier of Fortune is a, a, a quest that you can use to um, get good guns. Uh, there are two gun chests uh, located in a very close proximity. And um, so uh, Soldier of Fortune, it is 70% of the main plot progress. Uh, this is especially a good place to get shotguns because one of the crates often has shotguns in it. So the first one is located up these crates near the bus. I'm not really sure if it hmm. has a lot of useful level on it. That's something uh, that if any of you can confirm to me, I'd appreciate it. And then over in the hut here, it requires you to break it open. There is a crate right inside. Time to die! So there's one guy in there that you have to deal with. He respawns, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and then... There you go. You could just uh, simply quest warp, rinse, and repeat. One way to get guns and uh, possibly uh, make some money uh, from the adventure, because there's so many guys here with guns, is on the quest Nighthawk. You actually originally get this from a gal in uh, the lighthouse, the the slightly heavy set female that's sitting down uh, inside their little room there. Um, we are in Act 3 right now, northwest of River Village, um, and uh, you just follow the, the, ma the quest marker uh, for uh, Nighthawk, and once you get to this place, it will give you a checkpoint, and then if, as long as you don't finish the quest, you can continue to come here whenever you want. There, you go around here to this, um, air, the... KILL THOSE FUCKERS! The aircraft, uh, and then you can fight a whole mess of these. The guys at the beginning have uh, single shot rifles, two of them, and then the rest have pistols. Uh, most of them have pistols. Uh, so yeah, you can make some money right off in here at the beginning, reset it if you want, or if you want to get a better oh, pistol. No. There's about seven or, eight, seven, or eight, seven or eight of these guys here that have um, uh, pistols. So anyway, uh, once you're done doing whatever you choose to do uh, here, then you can simply exit out to the uh, main menu of the game, or you can uh, switch areas by using your quest uh, warp and switch it back to Nighthawk to reset it. So there you go. Uh, in Act 3, in River um, Village, there is an easy way to get uh, guns. Um, uh, when you first arrive here with Jin, uh, there's going to be an NPC in this uh, little hut here. He's going to be back here, and you're going to do a quest or two for him, and then the door here will open. Uh, and then as soon as it does, you'll have access I love surprises. to um, these chests here, uh, one can will usually have melee weapon and the other one will almost always have a gun weapon in it. So uh, once you've done that, all you uh, have to do, you can either fast travel uh, out of the jungle area and then back to reset the, uh, the um, gun uh, crate, or you can um, simply make sure your quest is on Blood the Tropics and then uh, quit the game and then just reload the game and it will reset the quest, or the um, crates. One regular supplier for uh, gun ammunition, all types, is Thanks to uh, you. the We're open for business Keenan Fisher, uh, want a trade? Is the merchant for River uh, Village. He sells uh, all the different types of ammos. The uh, merchant in at the laboratory, uh, right here, um, sells uh, weapon ammunition sometimes. Uh, he currently has shotgun ammo and rifle ammo, but I think he sometimes, it alternates a little bit. Thanks again for watching my video. I hope it's helped. Uh, I'd appreciate if you rate and subscribe. It's taken a lot of time to do this, and happy zombie hunting. Bye.